Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, the idea of implementing exceptions and exception handlers in Racket uh, as functions. Uh, so now let's see how the language actually handles it or how does it actually behave. So in Racket, what I would do, um, I would just call this with handler is like a try catch and um, you put on the top the handlers so in this case is if the division so you know usually in a try in a catch block it's saying if the exception is of this type you do something in racket you basically write a function that if it returns true you do something with it so in this case it's checking if uh, but the easiest thing is if you want to handle all errors you just do return true um, and then so in this case what I did was I wanted to let's say display an error was caught Um, so in this case, it returns true. If I return false, it means no handler will ultimately. And then in that case, you know, if no handler can handle that error, then the um, exception bubbles up. So basically there's a default that just returns, just uh, raises that exception. So as you can see, here is the division by zero. If we ignore that it true and in this case you're calling on error and the only thing on error is saying is the exception was caught so in this case the division so this is how you do it in racket okay, um, okay. so next i want to talk about first class continuations and uh, actually i can do it in this video because this one is so small so the idea of um first class support for uh, continuations in Racket is you can always call a function, and this is kind of a mind bender because of the way it works. Um, but the idea is you have this function here, um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, whenever you call it, it replaces what is highlighted in blue as um, a lambda. So you can think of it in, in semantically as it becomes a function that, given an argument, returns whatever is in its context. Okay. So, um, then what it does, it, it calls the function f, and it passes the context, right? So the idea is, and this is kind of a weird one, is you want to call this function, and you want to pass it the context of the code that is surrounding it. Okay. Uh, so essentially the code above becomes the code below so what things you can do so here's there's a link in the uh, html slides and if you call, click it oh it actually doesn't exist anymore so i'll try to find it uh, but you can do all sorts of crazy things like uh, threads and um, multi-threading and whatnot with with this functionality and a lot of um, control flow Wizardry and Racket uh, is done using call CC, but because it's so ex like, it doesn't follow what the expectation of programming is. And I just wanted to let you know that it exists, but I'm not going to delve into it. Um, so next, what I wanted to talk about is in the next video is this idea of yield, uh, which is a way where you want to return not a single value, but a stream of values. So think of it as a promise list, if you will. Uh, and this exists in many programming languages, notably in uh, Python. 